Yo, what is up, YouTube? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2019 Back to Back Battles. Today, we are going to be using Kakazuki's top four world team once again with Yveltal, Groudon, on top of Coco, Metagross, Incineroar, and Mimikyu. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, highly recommend you go check it out. But otherwise, if you haven't already read Kazuki's top four worlds report in the description down below. And if you want to go give him a follow on Twitter, that is also in the description down below. But today's question as we find some battles is what is your favorite restricted Pokemon to use in VGC 19 if you have any? So uh, my favorite restricted Pokemon would have to be, <laughs> I know this is probably going to be uh, super cliche, but it is Xerneas. I do like Xerneas' design. I like Kajio Mancy's animation. And even though I think 16 was better, but I do like uh, the way Xerneas can just. Um, one, Xerneas helps against a lot of your battle teams. It helps against a lot of things. And the fact is, it's, I just always love setup Pokemon. Pokemon that can set up and do well, like Azumarill, for instance. But I think it really fits. My other Pokemon is Kyogre, actually, because. I really do love the consistent water spouts that just, you know, 100% accurate. The fact it's so strong on the rain. Rain has always been super strong in Kyogre. Just water spout in the form of a wetter user is just insane. But if it was an underrated restricted Pokemon, that's my favorite. I think uh, Huron Black is actually probably my favorite underused restricted Pokemon that I feel like no one really saw like we never really saw i think in moon series i did showcase it i did use it actually in dallas regionals and i think it was fantastic it was actually a great pokemon i feel like i uh, it does actually pretty well too i think it could have worked well in ultra i actually experimented around with uh, karen black quite a bit i just couldn't make it work as well because like luna it was always around a time where lunala or ultra necrozma was doing well and like karen black doesn't exactly like dealing with ultra necrozma or Lunala or Sogaleo. It also doesn't like dealing well with uh, Xerneas either. But otherwise, against uh, all the other restricted Pokemon, it did fantastic against. It had amazing coverage too. But I think that's enough rambling about that. It's taking a while to find a first game, so we'll be right back with the first game of today's episode. All right, we got K Sweet from Japan with a. Uh, I don't remember the rating, but oh, it looks like a Kang Torn team. All right, we got Kang. Kangaskhan, Tornadas, uh, Xerneas, Groudon, Incineroar, Amoongus. I don't know if this team can actually beat it. Because uh, I remember reading that this team had a lot of trouble against this combination. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to go Tapu Koko, Metagross. I mean, they usually just lead Kang Torn, but I feel like you could lead something else against me. Um... I don't think I can really bring Incineroar. I can't really afford Incineroar, I think. I'm going to go Tapu Koko, Metagross, the Mimikyu, and the uh, Groudon, I think. I've never played the matchup with this team, and this is definitely, I think, one of the more terrible matchups for this team. We don't have much to deal with this because, like, our setting of Trick Room is pretty much impossible with the Roar Kangaskhan and the uh, Taunt on Tornadus. Unless this one doesn't have Roar, which I might have to go off of if I want a chance to win the game. But, yeah, let's see how this goes. Hmm. This is going to be pretty tough, but let's see what my opponent does. Also, my opponent might not even just lead uh, Kang Torn, <laughs> which is the problem part, but... It's going to be Incin Incineroar Tornas, which isn't bad either for me. So. I can go for Volt Switch into the Torn slot and Stomping the Incineroar. The problem is my opponent could also just switch on to Groudon, which is also a concern. I'm just worried if you switch out ground on this turn, or you switch out ground on the following turn if I don't do this play. So I'm going to Volt Switch to Torn, and I'm going to Stomping Tantrum the Incineroar slot. Let's see, Fake are going to come out into the Top of Coco slot, okay, as Tailwind does go off. I'm guessing the Incineroar is probably faster than my uh, thing. Okay, here comes Stomping into the Incineroar. Oh, what? <laughs> Eject button? 
<laughs> oh no, that's Groudon coming in and we just lose. No. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> how was I supposed to predict that? Someone tell me how I was supposed to predict that. Oh no, no, no. This is not how you want. You hate to see it. Um. Oh boy. Yeah, this is bad. You just switch out Torn into Zern, I think, here. Oh, you didn't. Um, I guess you could stay with Torn too. I thought my opponent was going to try to sub Xerneas and just Eruption here. Which is what I would have done if I was my opponent, but um, I guess staying with Torn is fine. Icy Wind. Now Incineroar might have been useful. But then again, Incineroar, then I couldn't bring Mimikyu most likely one of the elites I had. Uh, Eruption. Is there a Pokemon I can Bullet Punch? Um, I'm going to Volt Switch to Torn. I don't think Bullet Punch damage does anything for me. I'm going to bullet punch the ground. I think this game is lost. Like, I don't think there's an out. <laughs> the judge button completely screwed over any game plan I had. Because if Incineroar just stayed in to fake out, which it did, and then it just stayed in on the field, like, maybe I could go for a read that Groudon's coming in for the torn slot. Uh, we'll bullet punch the uh, Groudon here. Or Chip. I don't think it's going to affect much. We do get a crit, which... I don't know, maybe if we can live the eruption here, maybe we got a shot. But um it's looking pretty bad right now. It's looking very bad right now. Let's see. Eruption. Yeah, chaos both. Ah uh, now I lose to taunt, I think. Is there a way I can play around the taunt? <sighs> I don't think there is. I go Mimikyu, I go Groudon here. I think I go on a choke that my opponent doesn't go for, um... Doesn't go for Taunt? <sighs> uh, you should always go for Taunt. So should I just Earth Power here and play rough? I feel like I don't get any momentum, though. Well, I would lose to the Xerneas anyway. I don't think... Unless, maybe I crit it? Is that what I have to go for? I have to hope I live Earth Power from the Dawn and, uh, crit? Maybe. Uh, I'm going to play rough here in Earth Power. On probably taunt and Earth Power on my opponent's side. Yeah, you always taunt there. Uh, if I have any shot, I have to make this play. Like, I think if I have any shot, I have to... Oh, it's Precipice Blades. Not even Earth Power. Well, that's even worse because my disguise gets broken. Uh, if I have any shot, I have to crit the Xerneas with the Z move, I think. And I'd have to crit the Torn with Play Rough, too. So we get the Play Rough off. But, jeez, that actually did nothing. Earth Power knocks out the ground, on, and that is game, I think. I think we just... I Actually, what comes in? Zern or Incent? I think Incent. Uh, maybe not Incent. Yeah, Zern. If I want any shot, I think I have to crit the Zern with the Z-move right this turn. I have to crit it with the Z-move right this turn. Because you just go for a Z-move into Groudon, and I think you either Moonblast or you go for the, uh... You either go for Moonblast or you go for Geomancy. Like, both are viable plays. Yep, Z-move gonna come out. Is there anything... I think it, like the only info I, I needed was the eject button because I felt like that just changed so much. Getting a free switch to ground was the thing that I was worried about. Um, yeah, here comes the Sky Strike into the ground on. Oh, it's in a Mimikyu. Did my opponent just read the protect and just double the Mimikyu? Well, I guess it didn't matter because, like, even if, let's say, I don't have Protect on Mimikyu. I guess Shadow Sneak, but, like, what's Shadow Sneak doing? Even if I crit Earth Power to Xerneas, let's not pick up a knockout. So, regardless, like, the game's 100% over regardless. I couldn't do anything after the Eject Button turn one. <laughs> uh, eject Button. 
an interesting tech on the team. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't do anything. I think the only thing I had, I would have had to know it was a draft button. I would have had to iron head the torn slot. Turn one. Yeah, like that's what I would have to do. Then I would have to bullet punch the Z move that slot. Yeah, I think that's what I would have to do if I wanted a chance to come. Uh, if I wanted a chance to win the game. Uh, Ajax button just completely screwed over my plan because what I was trying to do was I was trying to... Um, I was trying to get chip into the instant or slot. I was trying to either get chip into the instant slot or KO the torn, whatever works first. Then uh, next turn, since that happened, like uh, the turn played out if it wasn't Jack's button was horns alive plus the uh, instant still on the field. I go for the Z move in the torn because if I get the Z move in the torn, I could either catch a Groudon on the switch if my opponent wants to keep the torn alive, which I would assume he would want to. Or even if you just stay in, like at least I could bullet punch the torn the following turn. And then uh, with Torn gone, maybe I could set up Trick Room against my opponent. But yeah, since uh, it was a Jack's button, yeah, that completely screwed over my game plan. So uh, that one got me good. But we will continue on. There wasn't really much I could do afterward. Like, no, my opponent just had to play safety the entire rest of the game. And there was really nothing I could do there in order to have a chance. So uh, yeah, we'll continue on and just. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully not play anymore. King of Scott and Tornadis with this team. Uh, I don't think the matchup's like that bad, but a judge button definitely made a big difference. Uh, the common items on that team are probably just like uh, Barry Ensign or Safety Goggles sometimes, but we'll see. We got our next opponent for the United States, 1576 rating. XL. Um... I really actually don't know how this matchup goes. I really don't actually. Um, should I just go? I really don't know how this matchup goes actually, because I'm super confused on how I'm supposed to approach this. Uh, just because the Lucario's annoying with the follow me option, I don't know what your lead is either. I just don't think you lead Lele. Definitely bring Lunala. We just go Coco. Metagross? I'm gonna go Coco Metagross, I think. I think I have to not bring the Yveltal against the Lunala, and that's really tough for me, but I think I don't have a choice. Like, it doesn't do anything other than against the Lunala. I don't think I can bring against the Lunala. I think I'm going to have to rely on a Mimikyu to deal with the Lunala. I'm going to have to break the Shadow Shield with a Madness or the Z-Move. Uh, keep the terrain and then Shadow Sneak it. Like, I think this matchup's are really... Uh, I think we're getting some of the tougher matchups, and I'm trying to figure out what the game plan is here. Because I do not have any matchup experience with this one. So let's see. Um... Coco Metagross against the Lunala Incineroar, which is an interesting one. Okay. Hmm. Makes things interesting. This is also a pretty bad lead now that I think about it, because, like, what am I supposed to do here? You're going to fake a type of Coco. I don't know if you're going to Z. I would imagine you just Tailwind immediately. And what do I do afterward is the question. Uh, Actually, I'm going to go Mimikyu here in Iron Head. I got to make reads here. And I feel like my opponent could play safe. You can even just go for the Moon Guys Beam or the Z into Metagross realistically. Um, I had to make some kind of read. I'm going to hope you tart it down the top of Coco Slot, if anything. But you could also fake out the Metagross if you fear it's max speed and gets the Iron Head flinch too. So let's see here. Fake out gonna come out. It does hard to Mimikyu. Tailwind does come out. Okay, so that's one benefit here. Uh, maybe I could Shadow Sneak KO the <laughs> Lunala the following turn, but the last Shadow Sneak did nothing to the Lunala. You think Lele's in the back or not? Yeah, 
It might be Lucario plus the Xerneas. I think I gotta hope. I gotta read that. You're not protecting here because if I trick room, you're screwed. I'm doubling up the Lunala with Shadow Snake Bullet Punch. I don't have another play. Oh, Lunala switches out. Into Lucario. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that was a good play, too. I did expect Lucario, but I wasn't sure if it would switch in. But that was a good switch out for my opponent. Shadow Sneak into the Lucario slot, and you turn out the Mimikyu. The disguise, I don't think, mattered, really. But here... Actually, it does, because you can go for a me Meteor Mash into the... Actually, no. Why would you Meteor Mash? I could Shadow Sneak Bullet Punch here, the uh, Lunala slot. I think you should always follow me in Moon Guy's Beam, the uh, Mimikyu slot. So I'm going to have to make an aggressive read, and probably I have to stomp... Oh, Xerneas comes in. That's an interesting switch. Can't I trick him Iron Head and take a trade? If I do that, that is kind of annoying though. But I think I have to attempt. I have to attempt something. I think I am going to Iron Head and. Yeah, I'm going to Iron Head Trick Room. One, I can rely on the Meteor Mash. Oh, you're going to switch out, Insan? Yeah, that's probably was bad by me. I probably should have went grout on. Maybe it was too obvious. That was pretty bad by me. Yeah. Again, I could go for meteor mash, which is which is possible. Ah, uh, this is looking pretty bad now, since I'm probably losing my uh, null answer. Yeah, meteor mash. It does connect. Even. At least I didn't stomping, because I feel like if you're stomping, I'm in the worst spot. But. Not good. Iron Head into the Incineroar slot. Doesn't do anything. Alright, so there was no Lele. I'm going top of Coco here. At least the Shadow Shield is broken, but the problem is I don't have anything that outspeeds a Lunala. I'm gonna Electroweb here and protect, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna Electro Protect. I'm not sure if you're gonna fake out or if you're gonna hard U turn, but at least Electro probably cover. Oh, wait, no, the topical is faster than it's in the Undertale, and so I wouldn't catch anything with the Electro Web. Close combat. Maybe it's a Flare Blitz? Alright, Electro Web. Catch the Lucario. At least that's something that's decent here. A U turn into Metagross, okay. Kellen Peter's out. Um I guess I get Electro Web again and stomping. Yeah, I think that's a fine play, because nothing really likes taking this. Yeah, I think this uh, it's relatively fine. I don't think it's like the best position possible, but it's definitely not like super bad. Maybe if I can put the oh the car switching out, interesting, into the Nala. Okay, that's big actually for me because that puts it into um, that allows me to get the electro off, which I think is huge. Yeah, that's huge. Okay. And I'm able to get the Stomping Tantrum off. I mean, it's not going to KO, but at least it's damage. Yeah, barely doesn't pick up a KO. But it looks like it's a Salt Vest Incineroar. Okay. Here comes the switch out into who? Lucario again? I don't know. The position, I think, is not too bad for me. I don't think it's, like, bad at all, actually. Especially since I have Iron Head on my side. We got Xerneas coming back in. Okay. I feel like this game's winnable now. Uh, I could Z... 
I could Z. No, I would KO Nala with my Z move and the Iron Head. Uh, which I think is the play here. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Even if Lunala switches out, that's fine. Actually, no, it probably was better. Oh, this was a tough decision, actually. Because I can't get Lunala to get an attack off, but the problem is my opponent gets conservative, but it looks like my opponent doesn't do either. Just leaves Lunala in. Okay. I'm guessing it's Geomancy, and my opponent's gonna go for that option. Uh, it's still problematic, though. At least I'm able to get rid of the Lunala, which is an absolutely terrible Pokemon for my team to handle. So at least I get one positive out of this. Um, I'm hoping that this puts in 20% range, right? Oh, wow. That did more than I thought, actually. Geomancy does come out. It's timid on these earnings confirmed. So it should go down to one Iron Head from Adam and Gross. The problem is dealing with the aftermath. Iron Head will knock out the Lunala. I still think you just go to Kario to win by Gleam Close Combat. Actually. Yeah, I think that's a wrap here. How low is my Metagross? It's actually only minus one. I should knock out the Lucario. I don't think I live Gleam, though, with the Coco. I'm going to protect Bullet Punch. Because I think I have to. Unless you're going to just switch to Instant. My opponent could just make this Instant switch. Doesn't make the Instant switch. Does Bullet Punch even knock out Lucario? I'm... Very skeptical about this one. I don't think it does, but we'll see. We have to hope. Nope. And yeah, that's going to be game because Dazzling Gleam Close Combat. I couldn't get Groudon to take too much damage here. Like, my only hope, I think, for this game to take a chance was I lit, I l KO the Lucario with Bullet Punch and then switch out my Instant. I mean, switch out my Metagross into Groudon and hope I can win the game that way. But, yeah, it just seems super unrealistic now. Because you can just gleam. <sighs> yeah. I don't think there's a chance to come back. Lucario living was huge. I think... Yeah, the one play I could have made better, and the one turn that screwed me over, was Xerneas switching out. I felt like that was obvious. Like, you shouldn't leave Xerneas in, so... If I needed to play that better... It would have been calling that turn. Or maybe what I could have done was just double up the Xerneas when it stayed in to Geomancy and then the Lun when I KO'd the Lunala. But... Uh, since I was a... Actually, that might have been better. Because I knew the Xerneas was probably going to stay in a Geomancy anyway. Yeah, I think that was actually better because I knew the Xerneas was going to stay in the Geomancy that turn because I felt like you trade Xerneas or you trade Lunala. But the fact is, if I got rid of the Xerneas there, I think I won the game. The reason I think I win the game is because the Lunala was Electroweb now that I think about it. Uh, you would have to KO one of my Pokemon or you would have to Tailwind that turn. If you Tailwind... If you Tailwind, I guess that's a different story, but if you went for Moon Guy's Beam or tried to KO the Metagross, I just win the game with Groudon, clicking Eruption next to Coco. Um, but again, I think those turns could have been played better. I think it's just me not knowing the matchup. And my opponent played well enough to where um, I couldn't really capitalize too much unless I made the good reads. So... Yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. I think that is a double loss. Yeah, we lost to the Kangtorn and we lost to the XL team. Unfortunate, but 
learning experience is important and learning how to play those matches. I, the eject button is something that really caught me off guard. I don't think I can justify that. That one was, um, that one was just, I, my game plan got completely screwed out out of turn one and I couldn't do anything afterward. Uh, the second game against XL could have played better for sure. But otherwise, thank you all for tuning in to today's episode of VGC 2019 Vectric Vows. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below, show some support, as well as you can leave a comment down below and share this video with your friends. You can check out my social medias down below in the description, Kazuki's team report, as well as his uh, Twitter will be in the description down below. Be sure to answer the common question of the day. But otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. You can, uh, if you want to go an extra mile, support my content. There is my Patreon page and my Twitch channel linked in the description down below. Thank you to those who support me on those platforms. But otherwise, yeah. If you have used this team before, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about it? What do you think about today's battles? But otherwise, thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day, people. Until we battle again, I'll catch you all later.